My name is Daniel Mayo, and I'm an assistant professor of mathematics here at Austin P. And I teach classes that range from college algebra to calculus too. So the proposal that we put together was for a 3D printer to help print objects that students could then hold in their hands and these are physical representations of mathematical functions that students normally have difficulty visualizing. So by using the 3D printer we can print these models out and it can enable them to get a deeper understanding of what the material actually and what it means. Okay, so the technology that we uh, acquired with the grant was the Ultimaker 3 3D printer. Uh, this is the third generation uh, top of the line 3D printer. Uh, it has really fine um, features and uh, it has the ability to print two plastics at once so that you can have one plastic act as a scaffolding underneath the plastic you want to keep and then it just washes away with water. So the, the 3D printer um, enables us to print down the physical representation of the functions and this can help in two ways. Um, it can help students that have difficulty visualizing the actual functions by being able to hold it in their hands and man manipulate it in all different directions, but it can also help students that uh, are visually impaired, that are unable to see visual representations of the objects, but they can actually hold the three-dimensional object in their hand and get a, a much better sense of what the functions actually are representing. Uh, so well, I've learned that uh, 3D printing takes a lot longer than I anticipated. Uh, this three-dimensional object took 16 hours to print uh, and there is a very steep learning curve in learning how to use 3D modeling software so that you can print these type of objects. But um, it's, it's a fantastic technology that um, I'm extremely excited to keep working with it to make more models.